Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So we got a great video for you today. We're going to be taking a close-up look at the Nathan Aspinall darts from Target. And man, what a great couple years this guy's put together. Climbed his way all the way up to number seven in the PDC World Rankings. And I think that number is only going to climb from there. And uh, what an incredible set of darts he has as well. Can't wait to open these things up. So what do you say we break them out of the package? We'll take a close-up look over some stats and dimensions. And then, as always, to the board we go. Here we go. Well, there we go, the Nathan Aspinall darts from Target. And you know, I don't think I've ever said this about a set of darts, but I'm really looking forward to reviewing these things just because he's such an awesome guy. I mean, we seen the interviews a couple years ago. He said he had something like $20 in his pocket. And it just goes to show what a little hard work and dedication and a bit of luck will do. I mean, he's number seven in the world right now, doing well, and uh, really looking forward to opening these things up. But as you see here, just comes in your standard Target cardboard hang case. And uh, the darts come fully assembled. So what do you say we open these things up and I'll give you a rundown on the dimensions before we take them to the board for a throw. Here we go. Well, there we go. Stock out of the package. And wow, what a great looking set of darts. I'm really looking forward to throwing these ones. And like I said before, they came fully assembled right out of the box. Of course, we have our Nathan Aspinall barrels, a Target Pro Grip, looks like a short nylon stem, as well as our standard size Nathan Aspinall Target flights, but running down some stats and dimensions really quick. These are a 90% tungsten barrel, and the barrel length came in at a perfect, perfect, absolutely spot on 50.00 millimeters long, and right at the widest point here, right on the nose cone, 7.1 millimeters wide. And these are advertised as a 22 gram, and I gotta give Target some credit here. All three darts came in at 21.99 grams. Absolutely perfect machining. And keep in mind, I am weighing these things on a really cheap scale, but it doesn't get any better than that. So props to Target on that one. But let's get a close-up look here. Well, there we go. Nice close-up look there. And I think the first thing you'll notice is that these are definitely a front-loaded dart. As you can see, the barrel tapers larger as you get towards the front of the barrel. But with Nathan being a rear gripper, check out this section here in the back. You have a very fine multi-ring that goes all the way to the stem. So that's a great feature there. Looking at the middle of the dart, you have this smooth section with the Target logo. Towards the front, we have these three ringed machine cutouts there. And on the nose cone, you have some teardrop looking cutouts there. You don't really feel those on your fingertip, but overall, I'd give this barrel a level two grip on a scale of one to five. Very mild grip, and I think it's going to come off the fingertips very nice. So I can't wait to get these things on the board, and today we're going to go with a stock setup and see how they fly. So here we go. All right, here we go. Quick couple of minutes with the fresh out of the box, 100% stock Nathan Aspinall darts. Oh, hey, look at that. Matches my target jersey tonight. <laughs> But yeah, I only had a couple minutes warm up, and the first thing I noticed was how much these darts were standing up in the board. You can almost see it with that first dart. And to be honest, I'm not really used to that, but man, that's so inviting for the next dart. Ooh, look at that, perfect. As you know, I play with a really small flight. My darts go on the board pretty much dead straight, so I'm not used to having a dart stand up like that, but I have to admit, it's visually appealing when it's standing up. It's almost like you can't miss. You just kind of like, it's like a bank shot. Now that'll probably be the only time in this video I can replicate it. Oh, there we go. Oh man, wow. And you know, I think I was spot on with my grip level assessment. They're coming off the fingertips so clean. Definitely a level two grip. And I'm actually, I've worked my grip towards the back end of the start, trying to replicate how they would work for Nathan. And uh, as you see, wow, they're flying. Oh, I should have been able to get under that first dart. Oh, I pulled it. But yeah, such a great dart. You know, I really wish I would have warmed up a bit more, but man, they're flying really nice. Now, come under that a little bit. No, don't pull it. See, that's my problem with standard size flights. I have a really hard throw, and if I throw these too hard, they're gonna go left. So I just try to, I gotta remind myself to throw these gently. 
just kind of glide them into the segment. That one's standing up on me a little bit. I'm blocked. Go for a cover shot. That's perfect. Ooh, almost. Yeah, such a great dart. And, you know, I'm so happy to see Nathan doing well week in, week out. Highly disappointed, though, with this uh, coronavirus going around. No darts on the television. Oh, right in the back end of the flight. That's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. I really didn't want to bang up the original equipment too much. Oh, well. But yeah, here we go. Last throw. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I pulled it. Get in there. Isn't that the worst? You throw a beautiful treble 20 followed by a five and a one. We are not going to end on that one. All right, right beside it. Oh, Ooh. almost. But hey, uh, I got one last one for you. You know how we do on this channel. One last clip. Hope you enjoy it. Standing up nice. Boom! Get in there, you beauty. Look at that. Boy, they were all standing up nice, too. And there we go. Perfect place to end the video there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this close up look at the Target Nathan Aspinall darts. And uh, as always, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Until next time, we'll see you guys. Later.